Hello everyone, in today's video we're going to be showing you how you can create a flight plan so that you have units that take off from one place and they're actually going to go and land in another place. Now one thing I will say about all flight planning is that it's a little bit, little bit uh, pernickety, persnickety I think is the word I want to say. And you have to kind of be very mindful of the different settings that you kind of create and how you set groups together and how you build the groups, but I will deal with that as they kind of come up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab my target here, uh, lovely Hartford, Connecticut. So I'll strike this again. Oh, this is only the 500th time I've been this poor city. Yeah, at least it's not nuclear weapons this time. So what I'm going to do, of course, is I'm going to grab myself uh, one of these handy dandy flights. I'm going to grab a group of four. Uh, this looks pretty good to me. Plop them down here. I'm going to go ahead and create or update the flight plan here. And what we're going to do is we're going to go into this flight plan and we're just going to tweak it. So I'm going to open up my flight plan editor. I'll drag the mission editor out of the way and I'll just do the best I can to show you. So what we want to do is we want them to take off and we want them to fly up and land on my Essex class, uh, which is kind of a northeast of our kind of initial location here. So to do that, of course, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab my first unit here. And again, it doesn't tell you which one the leader of the individual group is, which is kind of a it, it's tricky. It's tricky to say the least. It definitely makes things interesting, in my opinion. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab one of these units here. I'm just going to pick Aces 1 because because science. And again, if we want to check that, Aces 1 is going to be our flight lead here. I'm going to go ahead and uh, click on my Essex class. I'm going to go ahead and say change a landing location. Boop. And as soon as I do that, you'll notice that it tweaks itself. And now the flight plan is actually could be modified. So we have this nice, lovely straight line that takes us right to our destination. Fantastic. The problem we have with this, and uh, this is one of those kind of little tricky things, is just four aircraft in this flight. If we try to use uh, one of the aircraft and program this flight plan onto it, it's um, only going to hang on to that one. So instead, what we have to do is, even though visually we don't see this updating right away, we need to tweak it so that it makes a little more sense. I'm actually going to do one of these. I mean, if we're going to edit the flight plan, we might as well do it right, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'll grab my next unit here. I'm going to go ahead and click on my Essex class. I'm going to set him as the landing location. I'm going to go to Aces 1-1. One, one. I'm going to set him as the landing location. Aces 1-0, set him as the landing location. Aces 1-1, one, one. I'm going to go ahead and say this is the landing location. Now, that seems like a lot of work, but the good news is it really isn't because what we're going to do is we're going to copy the flight plan. Now, I've got 12 of these groups of four, so it's going to be three groups. I'm going to go ahead and make two copies of that flight plan. Now, when I come down here, you're going to observe that Hammer 7-2 and 6-2, my two voodoos have no airplanes in them. So what I'm going to do is grab my demons. I'm going to go and add them to my list. I'm going to go uh, over to my flight plan editor, and I'm going to fill them up with airplanes. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and grab on our Hammer 7-2, fill empty aircraft slots, grab my Voodoo 6-2, and fill aircraft slots. And now everybody's all full of airplanes. And when we come over here, you'll notice we have ourselves uh, three different groups with a completely different landing location. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and unpause. Uh, they're going to go ahead and launch. They're going to do their thing. Everybody's got to kind of, kind of get in format here. Are they going to go strike the targets. Uh, sorry, Hartford. Sorry. And as you watch carefully, you'll see each one of these groups automatically break themselves up into tiny ones, and they're all going to go boop, 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 boop. That's a technical term, by the way, for how they landed there. And now, of course, if I click on here in task X6, voila! You now must see that we have ourselves an aircraft that took off, struck, and then landed at a different point. Enjoy.